I'm still messing the house, but I want to see, see these things. Yeah. Plastic grocery bags. Those things are outlawed. You know, they get reused so many different ways. And, but if they outlawed those things, I want the plastic straws. And if you didn't bring your own fabric bag before COVID, you could get a paper bag, but it cost you five cents a bag. Now, before they outlawed these things, these were free. So with paper bag, if you requested it. So, hmm, since COVID, oh, we can't use paper now. And since COVID, oh, you can't bring your fancy $5 fabric grocery bags in because they might have COVID on them. So it's back to plastic bags for free again. How's that work? They're illegal here. I just thought I'd bring that one. I have decent time in here. Have a decent time. You know what's going to be illegal next, Ed? Independent thought. You better watch yourself, mister. Too cold to start a fire. I'm burning diesel, burning dinosaur bones. So now we should be able to put air to cylinder. Well, the latest of the never-ending parts replacement for Frank and Truck. I know, I know, you can, you know, we always used to do a drill hole in here and dribble oil in there, and you could limp it along for maybe a year, but um, why? They're like 30 bucks, brand new, the parts store. It's a Murray brand, which is pretty decent. It's not AC Doco, um, but... They're pretty easy to change. Is that a date code on there? Well, it's Doco, so uh, probably original. Anyways, I guess now I get to change that. Oh, and also check out all the dirt that I got out of that little compartment in there where this fan goes. Yeah, yuck. Should be cleaner now. So I use relays here to transfer the higher current to the windows. That's one main issue with square body windows is they go slow because they the switches don't pass enough current. I also made it so that the relays can prevent one person from rolling the window up and the other person from rolling it down. <laughs> It's not summer anymore. Got the furnace going. Working on Franken truck for a trip I need to take. See guys, I watch your videos. I just, you know, my hands are dirty and stuff and I'm working on Franken truck and I don't always get over to comment on it. But I watch them. Order online, it said. Delivery tomorrow, it said. Actually, what we mean is delivery the day after tomorrow is what it should have said. Well, now I've got new locks because I don't have the keys to the locks on Franken truck. And whatever, there it is. I already, last night, glued up all the plastic on here. So now the question, if I pull this back off, put the locks in and then glue it again, which probably would work, but... I wish it would have got here when it said it was going to get here. Okay, locks. Locks go up, locks go down. Both sides. Windows. Of course, you have to have a switch on for that. Driver's window goes down. Driver's window goes up. Passenger window goes down. Passenger goes up. I can even turn off the passenger window so that I can still control it, but they can't from over there. I'll probably redo that someday because it doesn't really stick in there very well and I kind of, yeah, I need to redo some of this. I have these wired up as well for the rear, which I know, yeah, it goes front drivers, passenger, rear, rear, 
uh, yeah, whatever. I, I, I may have it backwards, but, you know, whatever. Who cares? Anyways, and then I gotta put, you know, some trim pieces on, but it's totally drivable. Also put in the uh, transfer case shifter. That is actually out of a uh, GMT 400, uh, like a 90s uh, Chevy pickup. I did that for a couple reasons. One, because I that puts it over here on the driver's side. And also, um, I kind of like that style better and the trim that will go on here eventually. Um, but also the shift pattern for that style, uh, that uh, generation pickup is the same as an NP205. So actually the the panel on the trim is actually correct for uh, for the for this same transfer case. So um, it's it's in there. It works. I have shifted it, but like I don't know if I need a longer lever on there. I can change some of the. Uh, oh, I can't really see it, but that bar going across there. I can. I have multiple holes. I can change some of the ratio, but I kind of need to drill another hole in the transfer case side of it so that I have even more travel on here um, and less on the transfer case. But NP205s in general are just hard to shift. So, I don't know. That might be as good as it gets. Uh, we'll see. And I kind of need to, I still need to remount this a, a little bit more straight up and down because right now, this kind of bangs in to uh, if you're in in so-called first gear, which is the second gear of this NV4500, and you try to put it in four low, which is all the way forward, um, you're gonna smash your fingers on here. You know everything will work, but you're gonna smash your fingers. And I fixed the throttle, so I kind of bent that up, so I have full throttle now. I can actually I, this whole time. I've remember when I said I thought it was sluggish. But you know, of course, it rides pretty good with a gooseneck on here. Still don't think this thing has the power that I would like, but... Yeah, well, it, it was. It's because I was only going probably 75, maybe 80% throttle that whole time. So, um, yeah, that makes a, quite a bit of difference. So I guess I'm ready for a trip now, maybe, sort of. Quick little uh, shop slash lean-to update. There's the steel, at least for the north side, but I also thought I'd show I put some lights up out here too. Because see, in the summer, or even in the winter when it's not too bad, I still want to be able to work out here if I need to. And one of the things you need for that it's good lighting. So a couple of lights from inside the shop came down, went out here, and then I replaced them with LEDs in the shop. Because these won't be on nearly as often. These take about, I don't even remember what the multiplier. These take, all these lights take 10 amps or 12 amps um, times 240 volts. Right now, with with the two that are still left in the shop and the LEDs, I'm pulling like six or five times 240 volts. Oh boy, in Franken truck again. So there ended up with a lot more on that list than what I originally put up there. And I'm glad I got all those things done. Um, but it also ended up making everything take a little longer, but I mean I needed to get a lot of that stuff done <clears throat> Even something like the windshield washer squirters. I mean uh, It's supposed to be cold and snowy and rainy and You need those when it's that way So I don't know if I'm gonna take this truck all the way on that trip that I was talking about but I am going to take it on another trip to go get something uh, pretty cool. Well, it's cool to me. We'll see if it's cool to you guys. So stay tuned for that. Thanks for hanging.
So stay tuned for that. I think no matter what, it should make for a pretty fun trip. Even if whatever it is that I'm getting turns into 